Hi, my name is Brian and this is my wife Melissa. We have four kids, Addie, Caden, Evie, and Damari, and we are the Pearson family. Foster care has been a big part of our story. After our oldest two kids were born, we suffered a couple of miscarriages. Um, one of those felt incredibly difficult. And because of those hardships, we decided to be done having biological kids and uh, we put our attention towards adoption. Yeah, Melissa had just left her full-time job, so you know, the finances behind an international adoption felt a little overwhelming. Uh, we also kept uh, striking out on other requirements. Uh, we hadn't been married long enough and uh, Melissa hadn't, wasn't old enough at that time. So that felt discouraging, but you know, the Holy Spirit was really pushing us, I think, to you know, continue to grow our family. Um, while growing up, I had babysat for a foster family. And so I had already always admired that family and have a lot of fond memories of them. And I think those memories are probably what initially prompted us to pursue foster care. Uh, it wasn't something that was talked about in our church and we didn't know any other Minnesota families that did foster care. So, um, but yeah, I think the, the Lord just kind of prompted those, those memories and continued to do so. And so we looked into it. Yeah, at that time we were living up in Minnesota and the state actually gave us our first placements when we were uh, three or four weeks into our training, yeah. into our mandatory training. So <laughs> a lot of learning came from firsthand experiences and not exactly, you know, the common path, but made for a bit of a rocky start. We had no idea what we were doing and we didn't have any established community to learn from or uh, be alongside us. Um, on top of that, we soon found out we were um, accidentally pregnant with our third baby. So uh, I remember that season vividly because I was, during the day, it was like awful morning sickness. And then at night we had a foster baby. So I got to kind of live both of those stages at, at one time. Mm -hmm. But that placement was also our first experience getting to know a biological parent. So um, it was just a really sweet time. The, this baby, I got to know his mom really well. She was working really hard to get a stable life so that she could take him back. And we um, had a lot of uh, personal interactions and it just was, I mean, the, the Lord just made it a sweet season because we got to walk alongside her as she was experiencing healing and just pursuing life differently. So um, certainly a, a really fond memory in our foster care journey. We knew that reunification was the goal with foster care, but we also had this kind of family goal to grow our family more. And so it was that season, I feel like God taught us a lot because we were holding those two truths um, both. And it just took a little bit of figuring out of how to do that, how to do that well and under like the provision of, of the Lord. Yeah, so eventually we got down here to Iowa and had our third kid, Evie, and uh, we started to process all over again and get licensed. And um, we really found a good community through that licensing process in, in Cornerstone and in our uh, local community. So. And so since being in Ames, we've had maybe 10 placements. And um, during this time, we ended up adopting our youngest, Damari. That road has been filled with deep joys. I've seen kids heal and grow and families reunified. Um, it's also been filled with incredibly heartbreaking goodbyes and lots of frustrations with a really broken system. So I feel like through all of those experiences, God has taught us a lot. And for me, I would say what happened is I, I always had a biblical knowledge of like who God was and his heart for image bearers and that he is a faithful God. You know, you walk through some of these hard things and the rubber just kind of meets the road and it goes, shifts from head knowledge to just to heart knowledge. Like, am I really gonna believe this? <laughs> On your hardest day is God still a faithful God, you know? And so that's kind of what God taught me in those seasons. And the last um, handful of years have just been a journey, I think, of learning that again and again. Um, his faithfulness does not always look like how I imagined, but, it's always perfect because we have a perfect God. Uh, we continue to live life with our foster care families and uh, we love the strong friendships that have been created through that. Uh, we know God has us here for a reason. He has opened that door for us and we're just happy to walk through it with him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you for allowing us to share our story. What a privilege it is to be able to serve families in our local community and to have a front row seat and seeing God work in some pretty incredible ways.